Hey guys, I'm gonna read off the test to you for today. Uh, whenever you want to pause the video, you can go ahead and pause it um, if you're still working on the question. All right, question one, how was oil formed? A, from corn extract, B, from rubber tree sap, C, over time heat and pressure turned dead matter into oil, or D, over time mud at the bottom of rivers turned into oil. Once again, question one, how was oil formed? A, from corn extract, B, from rubber tree sap, C, over time heat and pressure turned dead matter into oil, or D, over time mud the bottom of rivers turned into oil. Question two, what is irrigation? A, a creation of artificial lakes, B, a process which is used to turn a desert into farmland, C, method of bringing water to farmable land, or D, a piece of machinery that is essential to ancient farming practices. Once again, question two, what is irrigation? A, creation of artificial lakes, B, a process which is used to turn a desert into farmland, C, method of bringing water to farmable land, or D, a piece of machinery that's essential to ancient farming practices. Question three, according to the social pyramid in the River Valley civilization, who was the bottom class? A, priest, B, slaves, C, merchants, or D, farmers? Once again, question three, according to the social pyramid in River Valley civilizations, who was the bottom class? A, priest, B, slaves, C, merchants, D, farmers. Question four, how long have humans been hunter-gatherers on Earth? A, 99% of the time on Earth, B, 5% of the time on Earth, C, 20% of the time on Earth, or D, 50% of the time on Earth? Once again, question four, how long have humans been hunter-gatherers on Earth? A, 99% of the time on Earth, B, 5% of the time on Earth, C, 20% of the time on Earth, or D, 50% of the time on Earth? Question five, what's the name of a temple in the Tigris and Euphrates River Valley? A, Charles, B, Ziggurat, C, Church, D, Cathedral. Once again, question five, what's the name of the temple in the Tigris and Euphrates River Valley? A, Charles, B, Ziggurat, C, Church, or D, Cathedral. Question six, when do rivers flood? A, when it's the rainy season, B, during the spring when mountain snows melt, C, when an oasis is formed, D, when wind patterns change bringing moisture in from the ocean. Once again, question six, when do rivers flood? A, when it's the rainy season, B, during the spring when mountain snow melts, C, when an oasis is formed, or D, when wind patterns change bringing moisture in from the ocean. Question seven. What is the name used for traveling traders? A, caravans, B, Bedouins, C, wagon trains, D, jockeys. Once again, question seven. What's the name used for traveling traders? A, caravans, B, Bedouins, C, wagon trains, D, jockeys. Question eight. In ancient Persia, Darius the Great is best known for building the a, Great Merchant Alleys, B, Royal Road, C, Colosseum, or D, the Five Great Statues of Persia? Once again, question eight. In ancient Persia, Darius the Great is best known for building the A, Great Merchant Alleys, B, Royal Road, C, Colosseum, or D, the Five Great Statues of Persia? Question nine. Which of the following would not be used to siege a city before gunpowder? A, battering ram, B, siege tower, C, catapults, D, grenade deer. Once again, question nine. Which of the following would not be used to siege a city before gunpowder? A, battering ram, B, siege tower, C, catapults, D, grenade deer. Question 10. Who is the Babylonian leader who established a series of laws? A, Darius the Great, B, Hanarabi, C, Xerxes, D, Cyrus. Once again, question 10. Who is a Babylonian leader who established a series of laws? A, Darius the Great, B, Hanarabi, C, Xerxes, or D, Cyrus. Question 11. What religion are the Crusaders? A, Muslim, B, Jewish, C, Catholic, Christian, D, Hindu. Once again, question 11. What religion are the Crusaders? A, Muslim, B, Jewish, C, Catholic, Christian, D, Hindu.
Question 12. What's the name of the group that controls the Middle East during the First Crusade? A. Seljuk Turks. B. Byzantium Empire. C. The Persians. Or D. Marathon Confederacy. Once again, question 12. What's the name of the group that controls the Middle East during the First Crusade? A. Seljuk Turks. B. Byzantium Empire. C. The Persians. Or D. The Marathon Confederacy. Question 13. Why did many criminals join the crusade? A, they had nothing else better to do. B, they were forgiven for all their sins. C, they would have more opportunities to steal. Or D, they were trying to make right their past wrongs through selfless devotion. Once again, question 13. Why did many criminals join the crusade? A, they had nothing else better to do. B, they were forgiven for all their sins. C, they would have more opportunities to steal. Or D, they were trying to make wrong, trying to make right their past wrongs through selfless devotion. Question 14. Which of the following historical figures is not a leader of the First Crusade? A. Godfrey of Brion, B. Beaumont of Toronto, C. Raymond of Toulouse, or D. Gillian of Madrid? Once again, question 14. Which of the following historical figures is not a leader of the First Crusade? A. Godfrey of Brion, B. Beaumont of Toronto, C. Raymond of Toulouse, or D, Gillian number Madrid. Question 15, which of the following is not a tactic used by Crusaders? A, heavy weapons, B, heavy armor, C, heavy catapults, or D, heavy cavalry charge? Once again, question 15, which of the following is not a tactic used by Crusaders? A, heavy weapons, B, heavy armor, C, heavy catapults, or D, heavy cavalry charge. Question 16. Which crusade leader successfully took over Antioch? A, Godfrey Bion, B, Beaumont Tarianto, C, Raymond of Toulouse, or D, Gillian of Madrid? Once again, question 16. Which crusade leader successfully took over Antioch? A. Godfrey Bion, B. Beaumont Taranto, C. Raymond of Toulouse, or D. Gillian of Madrid. Question 17. Which city did the Crusaders capture that signaled the end of the First Crusade? A. Jerusalem, B. Damascus, C. Jaffa, or D. Acre. Acre. Once again, question 17. Which city did the Crusaders capture that signaled the end of the First Crusade? A. Jerusalem, B. Damascus, C. Jaffa, or D. Acker Acre. Question 18. In between the Second and Third Crusades, who captured most of the Muslim world? A. The Saracens, B. Saladin, C. Frederick, or D. Mamluk? Once again, question 18. In between the Second and Third Crusades, who captured most of the Muslim world? A, the Saracens, B, Saladin, C, Frederick, or D, Mamluk? Question 19. Who were the three main leaders of the Third Crusade? A, Bohemond, Robert, and Augustus. B, Godfrey, Raymond, and Roberts. C, Conrad, Jarek, and Montreal. Or D, Richard, Philip, and Frederick. Once again, question 19. Who are the three main leaders of the Third Crusade? A, Bohemond, Robert, and Augustus. B, Godfrey, Raymond, and Roberts. C, Conrad, Jarek, and Montreal. Or D, Richard, Philip, and Frederick. Question 20. Why was the First Crusade successful? A, surprise, and the Seljuks and Egyptians were at war with one another. B, angels were on the side helping them overcome their enemies. Well, on the side of the Crusaders. C, the invention of gunpowder. Or D, the Crusaders were a small mobile force. Once again, question 20. Why were the first Crusades successful? A, surprise, and the Celtic and Egyptians were at war with another. B, angels were on the side of the, the Crusaders helping them overcome their enemies. C, the invention of the gunpowder. Or D, the Crusaders were a small and mobile force. Question 21. What city did the Fourth Crusade siege? A. Egypt. B. Tunis. C. Constantinople. Or D. Cyprus. Once again, question 21. 
What city did the Fourth Crusade siege? A, Egypt, B, Tunis, C, Constantinople, or D, Cyprus? Question 22. The Fifth Crusade and St. Louis' First Crusade both end when A, they successfully conquer Jerusalem, B, they run out of money, C, they lose a massive battle against the Turks, or D, the Egyptians flood the Nile River, trapping the Crusaders. Once again, question 22. The Fifth Crusade and St. Louis' First Crusade both end when A, they successfully conquer Jerusalem, B, they run out of money, C, they lose a massive battle against the Turks, or D, the Egyptians flood the Nile River, trapping the Crusaders. Question 23. How does Frederick's crusade end? A, he successfully makes a deal with the Turks for control of Jerusalem for 10 years. B, he drowns in a river. C, he's shot by an arrow. Or D, he runs through a fire and dies three days later. Once again, question 23. How does Frederick's crusade end? A, he successfully makes a deal with the Turks for control of Jerusalem for 10 years. B, he drowns in a river. C, he's shot by an arrow. Or D, he runs through a fire and dies three days later. All right, so that's it for our test.